then what, what happened in the second half? Well, you know, I, I, I thought for the first 30 minutes we competed at a high level, you know, and um, we weren't perfect by any stretch in the first half, uh, but uh, our, our energy level was really good. Um, and then give them credit. I thought that they played, in, you know, uh, they played hard as well. It wasn't pretty at times that they were able to, you know, make some plays there in the second half to take the two-point lead up to six or eight, made a couple threes, but they did a great job on the offensive glass the second half. Talk a little bit about your team. Um, you, you kind of made shift this team, put it together, but it looks like you're, you, you're starting to improve. Well, yeah, you, you, we are, and, and it, you know, it's, it, it, it's difficult. <laughs> You'll be honest with you, it's a challenge. Uh, you know, guys trying to understand and, and learn to play together and a whole new system. And it's just not three or four guys, it's 13 of them, you know. But our guys have been great. And, and they, like I said, we just talk about competing and playing hard and leaving it all on the table. And I think we ran out of gas a little bit. To their credit, they were, they're a little deeper than we are. Um, you know, their, their two veterans in Morgan and Johnson were outstanding tonight. And they're going to need that. Yeah, and that's what, you know, you, you take a look around, that's what the great programs have. And, you know, this program is accustomed to winning, you know. And, and you know, one short season ago, they're winning the Big Ten and playing in the Sweet 16. And, you know, I know things went sideways last year with all the injuries. Um, but, you know, Robert Johnson was on that team. Probably started, if, I, if I'm correct. You know what I mean? Juwan Morgan was a key player on that team, probably off the bench. Those guys know what it takes, and those guys, you know, like I said, Juwan Morgan, they don't run one play for him, not one. All he does is set ball screens and roll. Uh, but, you know, he gets a double-double tonight because he plays so hard and he's accepted that role, and you know what? He's going to make a lot of money doing that role because there's not a lot of guys that will play that hard and do those things. Talk about your relationship with RG. obviously came in and replaced you when you left. And just talk about how did you guys get together to set this game up or how was that down? Well, I mean, we, you know, I, when I got the job, we were in need of, we had, a, we wanted to play a high quality game and we didn't have many home games. So we, they needed someone in this tournament to play. So I was really excited about coming here and playing. Uh, I say that facetiously, obviously, <laughs> but we get three home games out of it and we needed some home games. Um, but, you know, I mean, you know, the one thing with Indiana, obviously, I'm Big Ten born and raised, you know, with my time at Michigan State, uh, very close with, with Tom Crane and, and, you know, it's a bad business when it comes to stuff like that. Um, but at the same time that, you know, this is a great program and they're accustomed to winning. And, you know, I think that I, I highly regard Archie as a great coach. He did a great job at, at Dayton. I followed him every game. I hope they won every game, um, you know, because that's the way I was taught in this profession by guys like Judd and Tom and different things like that. Um, they're going to be fine. You know, they're trying to find their identity. You know, one system, you know, it's a different system. Um, one isn't better than the other. It's just different. You know what I mean? And it's going to take a while for the guys to kind of grasp those things. Because um, there's a lot of different ways to win games. All you got to do is look around college basketball. Virginia plays a lot different than Kentucky. Kentucky plays different than Gonzaga. You know, the great teams figure out how they need to play and, and do that. And, and they'll do the same thing here at Indiana. Just like, the, you know, to be honest with you, they've always done. It. You know, uh, they got to get, you know, Hartman out hurts them. You know, it's, he, he's the heart and soul of this team a couple of years ago. I, I think he's a great player, and he makes them even better. Um, you know, that's what happens when you have injuries, but they'll keep getting better. You've been where Archie is. You're, you're kind of there now. What's the hardest part of creating that identity when you're taking over a program like that? You, you know, I, I think one of the things that you can see in watching them on film is because of all those injuries last year, guys were, you know, and, and guys going back and forth and like Blackman coming, is he playing, is he not playing? Guys never got comfortable in what they needed to do because one game it was, that's hard the way to coach. You know what I mean? It's hard to coach and it's hard on the players. So now you go through a whole year of that and now they're being asked, to, okay, these are the defined roles. Um, it, you know, it's challenging for the coach. But the one thing I do know about this, because I know Tom, he recruited high character kids. They're all good kids and they're all coachable kids, and it will take them a little bit 
but they'll do exactly what the coach asks man and I talked about Morgan he's a perfect example of it you know what I mean he really is he may want to do some different things but he's a good enough kid to know that if what coach is asking him right now if he does he's going to help the team win just like he did tonight you had, uh, I think, two different stretches of four, uh, four minutes straight without a basket. What did Indiana maybe do during those stretches defensively to take? Well, they did. You know, they did a good job. You know, um, you know, they, they have good length at the at the four and five spot, and those guys can move their feet. <clears throat> so they hedged on a lot of ball screens and stretched us out. We weren't able to take advantage of the times that we got the ball in the paint where they were, and I thought that was a difference in the game. Their guards were able to either finish plays or find shooters or drop the ball off where we weren't able to do that. We either took a difficult shot or turned the ball over. Um, they got fouled uh, a lot more, got to the free throw line a lot more in the second half. That hurt as well. Um, you know, at one time there was, you know, a couple possessions where, you know, we, we, we got stops, but, you know, we, we fouled at the end of the possession or whatever. So. It's difficult to, on offense, when you're not getting any transition baskets, and that's because we weren't getting any stops. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All good.